Now to a revolutionary cancer treatment that could one day replace chemotherapy. A Perth lab will soon start making a new cancer-killing cell, being hailed a game-changer for Australian patients. Royal Perth Hospital is spearheading the trial as part of a push to make WA a global hub for life-saving medical research. Jessica Page has this exclusive report. Chemotherapy was hard going. I did get down to 53 kilos. And it's not an option if Matt Christo's cancer returns. I've reached my lifetime limit with the uh, chemotherapy regime. There is a 50% chance uh, that the cancer will come back. But he's a potential candidate for T-cell immunotherapy that will soon be produced locally in this sealed lab inside Royal Perth Hospital to treat blood cancers, melanoma. So these now... Um, uh, very angry T-cells. Made from a patient's own immune cells, modified, multiplied, then fed back to target the cancer. It's uh, the ultimate personalised therapy. Until now, each infusion could cost about half a million dollars. Purchased overseas, it's expensive but very effective. Manufacturing it locally here in four states will make it cheaper but also quicker, delivering tailor-made cancer-killing T-cells direct to patients. You could potentially infuse the therapy fresh within you know, a couple of weeks' time, which is not currently the case with commercial therapies. Which when it comes to cancers, I mean, time matters. Absolutely. We, we actually had in this hospital patients who missed out on commercial CAR T-cell therapies because there wasn't enough time. A clinical trial could start as soon as this year, one of three new projects funded by the Future Health Research and Innovation Fund that's aiming to make WA a global hub for medical research. Since the fund started three years ago, $175 million has been spent. A further $250 million is available, aiming to keep and attract the brightest brains. It's scientists are coming, coming up with new solutions uh, almost on a daily basis. Making treatment easier or providing a plan B for those who need it. Jessica Page, 7 News.